Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? Welcome back to another video. So in this video we're doing another top 5 list video. And this is top 5 things GT Online should add. So these features would actually make the game even more better. Or even just in general, just for fun purposes. So top 5 things that should be added to GT Online. Starting off with number 5 and that is character build. Uh, what do I mean by character build? Actually choosing your character's shape and size. Here we're looking at GTA San Andreas, how we could actually go to the gym. CJ could actually choose to be fat, skinny or muscly. And, and we could actually uh, choose him to either keep that weight or, or the shape or even choose him to decrease it. We could actually choose CJ to be any shape in San Andreas. And I think they should add a gym for GT Online and get to use like the gym equipment and all that and even change the character's shape whether you want it to be slim a, a bit uh, bigger or even obese or or whatever shape you want your character to be they could actually do it for they actually did it for red dead online but why not for gt online like we can choose whatever shape that we want it to be in the game so I'm, so if they could actually add a gym in the game and improve our character's build that would be an excellent feature before we have is more interiors and what I mean by interiors is you know when you like go into the clothes shop it gives you a nice interior of the actual clothes shop there are so many buildings in the game that are literally just you can just see for the window but does it not really detail they should add more interiors like a restaurant interior where you could actually eat or even like um, go to a uh, like any other particular interiors like uh, a police station even though you could actually go in the police station but uh, but it's just um, it just wouldn't let you but so, interiors like a restaurant and all that and anything like that we could actually go in those interiors and have more features to actually interact with even San Andreas did a good job of the interiors they really did a good job of the interiors I had like over so many interiors to go in and you could just uh, check out what was there in that but yes, San Andreas did a good job of it, and I think GT Online should add more interiors. Number three we have is mini side activities. Uh, what I mean by this is, that like what GTA, all the other GTA games had, like hidden you know, package collecting, spray tagging, just general collectibles. And I think the 3D GTA games did a good job of the collectibles. Even in the by only sessions, you could do this. Like... You will go to that certain term spot where a hidden package could spawn and you could literally just collect them. I know they've been doing collectibles like the cards and the action figures and all that. They've been doing all of that stuff, but they should bring back like other collectibles like spray tagging from San Andreas. And that was San Andreas tagging was my favorite collectible because you actually get to spray graffiti over the walls. And I really think GT Online should add this feature. And I think the same could go with like um, the Vice City packages and all that, like drug packages and all that. But general packages they should do, even red balloon popping as well from Vice City stories. They should bring back the passive collectibles and just, um, and I think it would be more fun. And even add uh, a spray can as a weapon. And that was, that was a good weapon to use, wasn't it? Number two we have is role playing update. Now I know what people are thinking, but don't people role play in free mode sessions? Yeah, they do, but what I mean is like more role play, like um, do actual role play stuff in the game, like add them in the game, like um, add like a, a a pizza round job or a paper round job, just general jobs that we could do as a normal person would do. That would make role players' dreams come true if they would add more role play features in the game, even a role play update. Because even though they did a role play update for Red Dead, why not do one for GTA Online? I think roleplays will enjoy that more, and I think um, it will make roleplay much more better. Personally, I do like roleplay, but I think roleplay should be even more better, like doing the actual activities in the game, even without getting raided, of course. <laughs> but I think roleplay would be a good one as well. Obviously, if you played Samp, there was a roleplay server where you could actually do those little jobs and even uh, do get paid from them as normal and pay the rent for apartments and that. But yeah, I think a role-playing update would actually mean a lot to everybody. Because I, I personally enjoy it a lot. Even though I'm a grinder as well. But I tend to role-play sometimes with friends and that. Just for fun. But I think adding these role-play jobs would actually make it more better. And number one. 
the number one feature they should add in the game are bodyguards. And what do you mean by bodyguards? Let's take GTA San Andreas for instance, how we could recruit gang members and we could actually um, have them to follow us around, go to any state of San Andreas, even shoot gang members or cops in instance. Yeah, we could do that. But what, but what do you mean for GTA Online? I mean, bodyguards could help us with anything. Then get off your Say like for you know, sort of how you would always need people to help you with your sales for your businesses. They should you actually you let to. you have bodyguards to do the sales you for you. Like you could drive one post op van for instance, and you the other two would drive the, the, the other two post op vans and ground. actually make the drops. You want, you want they should that. actually do the jobs the for you if you ever had a moment you where you can't yeah, have any friends to help you. And you want to where the, the bodyguards could actually come in handy and, you and help you. Even so though the timer should stay the same, in the air, they could actually still time. help you. Sometimes you'll lose them as you go they along. would actually help if you with any sale at all. And I think that it will make grinding so much easier here, for solo players that they could hire bodyguards to do the sales for them. And I think it would just be a dream come true. There we go. And that's pretty much it for this top list videos. Let, let me know what you think of this video, and also let me know See what that? features do you it's think they should add in, in GTA Online. Let me know down in the so comments what, what you think, now, we're gonna be heading back to and what else they should add if I didn't miss anything out. But that's pretty much it for this video, people. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. And if you're new to my channel, if you can hit the subscribe button, that'll mean a lot to me. And be sure to click the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video is uploaded or going live. With that out of the way, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.